Hi, it's Chester Tuttle at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're in Google Sheets. We're looking to simultaneously freeze row and column. Now, the first step is to select a single cell. You don't have to select anything more than a single cell, not a whole row or a whole column, just a single cell. Now, the position of that cell is crucial. So for example, if I wanted to freeze the first column and the first row, then I click into A1 because that's the row I want to freeze and that's the column I want to freeze. If I wanted to freeze the first two columns and the first row, I'd click into B1. So that's in the row I want to freeze and up to the column I want to freeze. So essentially A and B would be frozen. So normally what you want to do is you want to freeze the first row definitely, and then however many columns. So let's go up to here. Let's say we wanted to freeze up to column three and obviously row one. So I'm clicking into C1 in the row I want to freeze and in the column I want to freeze. So I've only selected one cell, then what I do is I go to view, freeze, up to current row, and then view, freeze, up to current column. Okay, now you can probably see you've got this kind of faint blue line, a kind of border that shows the row that you're freezing. And you've also got a faint kind of blue line here showing the columns that you've frozen. So now, if I scroll down, obviously the row headings, uh, the column headings stay where they are. And if I scroll to the right, then those columns stay where they are. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training.